2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Get up from the dust, sit down, and learn. We have to learn. Right. Yeah, but right. what do you, what, how much more is there to learn? If, 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 if we have, we live in this community, there's gentrification going on in this community, yeah. right? What are we doing to teach the people on how to deal with finances? What are we teaching the people on how to deal with a right type of education that's not dealing with just the school system, but in time where, okay, you need to learn about computers now. Yeah. You can't just go to school for this nonsense. You need to go to that, that well, is producing. Well, and do saying. we bring that back to the community? And that's so, what we're doing. So for me, when I look at the origin of the of any black evil Israelites, you'll have Crowdy and you'll have Billy, um, um, yeah, William Crowdy, Yeah, definitely Crowdy. Now, yeah. there's something that none of us talk about. We want to talk we, about the theology. Let's talk about what they did. Those people have orphans in this, trading schools. These have, schools was under that. We're so building this ourselves. Is what we want to talk saying, about. Brother, this is what the people want. We're building people ourselves want to, to that. About. We're not talking. Tell you, trust me. We didn't, we didn't just go out there to say, to say, all right, guys, look. We're, we're in purple and we're in order, we're standing in order. No, we're, we're letting people know, look, we have that and we have our, we're building to the, to the place where we can we can have our own. But the thing is, at the end of the day, we have to do this, we that. Luke chapter 10 verse 2, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. That's few. What you saw out there was 800. It's not even all of us. That was just 800 brothers that were that happened to take off that day for a men's conference. But that wasn't all of us. There's more worldwide. But I'm not saying that to boast. I'm saying this: that the harvest. There's a huge harvest, and we need more laborers, bro. You understand? So the brother was asking you a question about your nationality. You, you, I understand you have you have your views. But at the end of the day, when Christ returns, there are no more views. Right. There's only one view, and that's this. Keep the commandments. That, that's what we're gonna have a debate. I don't want to do that. I just want to keep it on that positive. Level. Okay. I don't. I'm never gonna agree with that. I'm not gonna because I have a whole. I study history, so I'm gonna leave that. Okay. I'm just, well, I like what two brothers did. Understood. I, I respect it. your belief. I'm not gonna come and do my. Understood. I'll but, with you, but I love what y'all did. Understood. And if y'all can keep it up, keep doing it. Yes. That's what the people. We need to see. Thank you very much. We're unapologetic, however. We have to be that way. Go to Matthew, uh, Isaiah 58. Uh, actually, get what you have. Get what you have first. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? We have to walk together if we agree. We have to agree. There has to be a foundation. And the only foundation that we have is this. Go to Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Because a lot of people, they say, man, you guys are racist. You guys are, you know, you, you guys talk too rough to the people. There's a reason as to why we do what we do. Because, look, it's Saturday. We should be home chilling, cracking a brew. You know what I mean? Having a good time. But we're here doing what? Talking about the most high because no one else is doing it. Right. You got the Catholic Church touching the kids. Right. But we here letting you know who you are, where you come from, what, why the people are people in the condition that they're in. Read this. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. So we speak loudly, not just to, not to blast you or to put you on the spot, but so like that everyone can hear it, right? We don't. Spare not. And we don't spare anyone's feelings. That's why we're, we're unapologetic. You understand? We appreciate what you said to us about you know about what you saw uh, um, um, online and everything. We appreciate that. But the thing is.
is we're here to build. Right. You understand? Right. We need brothers to repent first, to keep God's commandments, to fear God, and to get in the mix right. and work. Let me, have, so let me ask you a question. So, without anyone following this, you're saying that we can't get into the mix and do good for our people? If we're not doing it according to this book, if we're living righteous and we're helping out... What is righteousness? Righteousness is just being dealing with everything that's right. Watch not this. lying, not lying, being good to you, respecting the ancestors, which is where we okay. came from. But the thing, is, the, the thing is, you have, there has to be... I can, I, when, when someone asks me a question, I don't give them an opinion. I tell them, look, go here, go to, like right now, the righteousness, go to Psalms 119 verse 142. Watch this. What is righteousness? Because I can talk, you can talk. You said Psalms 82? Psalms 119 verse 142. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. So like I was saying, I can talk, you can talk, but at the end of the day, how do you know that I'm telling you the truth? How do I know that you're telling me the truth? We have to have a foundation. Read on. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So the laws of God, which are found in this Bible, are the truth. Now give me a verse 151. Watch this. Verse 151. Thou art near, O Lord. All thy commandments are truth. That's the truth. That's righteousness. The laws that the Most High had given us, the so-called the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the Israelites. Right. Those laws existed before your Bible was here. There's laws everywhere that deal with that. Like when we deal with those, they come from Mesopotamia. You have some of them that come from Egypt. We have them in Yoruba culture. We have these are the. the if we want to get technical, where did they get? Where did they get it from? Where, 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 who got what from? Where did they get it from? From their people. They made it up. And who did they get it from? You can't keep going back. Whoever those people. We are. can. No, you can't. We can. We yes, can. I, actually, we I'm can. Right. Go to Gen. Hold on. Look, I, and I don't want to mean to That's cut cool. you off. But watch this. Go to Genesis chapter one and verse one. Watch this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning there's your answer in the beginning, there's no book in this whole planet that says in the beginning this this is, is you want me to tell you what it is please do the book of knowing the overcoming of uh, the transformation of God and the overcoming of the pet yeah but that this is no, no, no it's not because you don't yes. have Brother, this is why I didn't want to do this. It's right? okay. This no, it's okay. Why. We, I'm, I'm going to break it down to you. Trust me. We right. engage Cool. So then we're going to engage them. So yes. you wanted to do this. Your oldest text is your Dead Sea Scrolls. Right? Each one of these books have a different date. So you're dealing from 250 BC to AD. You have nothing that's in 1500 BCE. Those papyrus, no, you can say that. Genesis is from, the, that's one of the... the, the Genesis, best, which is... Genesis, wait, hold on, brother. You Genesis, can call it Genesis. Ed Horat. You can call it in the language. That book is from 150 actually, BCE. Bar, actually, Bar Shah. Bar Shah. So, from 100, from 100 BC to 50 BC. You don't have no other writing that's before that. That's just the facts, brother. Yeah, so, but it's in the beginning. Yes, but in... in, in even in the writings, cool. even those writings don't say in the beginning. That's cool. In 1500 BC, it says, in the beginning, before there was nothing, there was me. It was I, the creator. Right, and this who is, was the creator? Hold on, John. hold on, hold uh -huh. on, before you get that, but that's, it's, it's just showing that it's a continuation, brother. Well, I'm going to show you. It's showing it's a continuation. Actually, it in, the beginning, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was God, and, and this the word is the was same, God. And it's the same thing, though. It was what in you, the beginning. Hold on, brother, what you're saying is the same thing. I'm just showing it to you in a text that's older than that. But the thing is that the text was Christ. How was Christ when I was in the round of 1500 BCE, brother? Watch this. I'll show you. Was Christ here in 1500 BCE? He was before that. He was before, he, he was before time was even made. Okay, bro. Read it. I got Hebrews it. chapter 10, verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Meaning Christ was in the beginning. Now go to John. Watch this. Because the thing is, we have to go according to what the Most High had ordained for us to read. The thing is, and I'm, and I'm going to get to that next thing in a moment. Yeah. John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him, 
was not anything made that was made. So he was the word. The word was God. And there was no text. As at, when God created Christ, there was nothing else that was created but Christ. He's the volume of the book. Right. He's the, the end all be all. He's the paintbrush of this entire universe, bro. That's right. But we you don't know about Christ until when? Until the AD time, brother. Okay. So what you're doing is you're talking about a concept. Right? It's not so, a concept. No, no, no. All right. Let's, let's be, all right. So let's do it like this, right? So when we're looking at this, right? So when you're looking at this, I'm going to leave now because I don't want to, I didn't want to do this. So when you're looking at this, right, you have a book, which is, what's that, King James Version? Yeah. So you're dealing with 66 books here, right? So for me, I study well, we all have, of them. Oh, yeah, you have the Bible. Y'all deal with that. Okay, you yeah. deal with the Maccabees and all that, yes. right? So now, when I'm studying history, I'm looking at the Dead Sea Scrolls. So when I look at the Gospel of Thomas, that's not in your book. But right, the Gospel, hold on, let's go there. The Gospel of Thomas is dated to 65 AD. It is in this area, right? So when we do this, right, we see those concepts are African concepts. The, the, the concept of the word. In Egypt, that's who? In, um, in uh, Yoruba, you're dealing with Olamari, et cetera, et cetera. These are age-old concepts. So when you try to say that before this, that didn't exist, that's wrong. That's, that's, that's only it. It is correct. See, in order to build with the people that you want to do, right? Right. You gotta come to the people where, where they at. You can't come to we the have, people and, and say have. you can't say this is the only way and this is the only truth and that's it. Okay. Once so, you do that, now it comes a problem where you gonna be like get out of here. You got all right. Crazy. So no, no. So right, gonna so walk you know, away I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with They're that. Gonna walk away from me. Hey, shalom, brother. My name is Captain Zephaniah. Please, brother. All right. Now you said that there was books before the Bible, right? Oh uh, yes, that deal with that same okay. concept. I'm gonna explain to you why those concepts are similar. To I just said that. I'm gonna explain to you why they're similar. You understand why they're similar? Genesis chapter nine verse seventeen. You're familiar with Noah, right? Yes. And the flood. Yeah. Mosai destroyed the, the earth. Yeah. He destroyed all the people. Who was the only ones that was left? Who was the only ones that was left? Yes. His sons and the people on the boat, supposedly. Eight people. His sons and, and their wives. Eight people, supposedly. Right. So read it. Genesis chapter 9, verse 17. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. So the covenant is an agreement. He made an agreement with Noah and the people that was with Noah. Read. Verse 18. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem. Shem. We, the Israelites, descend from Shem. Read. And Ham. And who? And Ham. Ham, the so-called Africans, descend from Ham. Right? The Egyptians which that you mentioned. Read. And Japheth. And Japheth. The, the Polynesians descend from Japheth. So these three men, right, are the forefathers of all the people on the earth. So if you want to know why those those nations, those those other people have similar stories, it's because they got it from their forefather Noah. That's you understand? Cool. So That's where it comes from. I what you're saying. All right. So now the issue you want to have with this is that we don't have those ancestors in Kemet and all these different places talking about Noah. <laughs> They don't say that that's their ancestors. Kemet, they have Pacific tribes. Kemet is Kemetic. It's the same what, thing. No, no, no. It, it, in Kemet, this, it's 42 no. It's Ham. It's 40, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Ham. It's the same thing, brother. Brother, that's, no. That's, yes, it is. All Kemet means is land. Actually, okay. that's what it means. Can in we, the hieroglyphs. Tell me what it means. Land. Actually, the, actually, the original name of Kemet was not Kemet. We know that. What it is that? Kemet. No. So it was Mizraim. No, it's that's not. the original. Hey. That's Hebrew. But the thing is, at the end of the day, we're going to wind up the thing, keep going to at, the, at the end of the day, knowing all this information, how is that going to allow you to gain access to God's kingdom? God's kingdom, it says that God's kingdom inside of you. That's what it says, right? The kingdom Understood. God's within you, but right? But how to get to God's kingdom? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you my understanding. When we go to Psalms 82, right? It says the foundation of the earth are all courts. Heaven, I said that ye are all gods, but children of the Most High, but ye shall right. die like men. Why would so we die like men? Why let me, die like let men? me go. Let me build. Why would we let die me, like men? Can I, let me build. How can I say that you are all gods, but children of the Most High, but you shall die like men? That's correct. Now, no one understanding this, right? No one stays a child forever. So, something must die. 
a form of mentality must go. When that form of mentality that keeps you attached to the carnal desires and the things of this world that is against the righteousness that is within inside which of you, is the laws which, of is, God. which is our divinity that is within inside of which us, is the laws of God. Then, when that dies, you can enter what that kingdom is. That's my understanding. But before you giving me your understanding. But the thing is, you have to keep the commandments now, not wait. Oh, no. Oh. What do you mean, wait? There's no wait. See, when you say commandments, right? You saying that that like this is the only book that has that. We come from different natures of West right. Africa. I say we come from we come from your Roma kingdoms. We okay. have our own sixty. We, we come don't. From Israel. Okay, we come from Israel. Peace. I just like what y'all was doing. I don't. I didn't want to go back and forth. And look, and look, no, listen. Move. No harm, no foul. You understand? However, we have to return to God and keep That's His cool. commandments. I'm fine with all of that. Just Isaiah keep, chapter 34 verse 16 Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read No one of these shall fail None shall want her mate For my mouth it hath commanded And his spirit it hath gathered them That's what we need to do If you want to build anything you The bottom line is You have to fear God Keep his commandments Shalom this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.